Bush 41, a 21st century founding father, by Rodimus Prime 86, also known as yours truly. On either side of the fence, a family name, near or far, that can have blood cool or boil, going back years, driving of his background around his company's founding of oil. The jump on taxes, the ongoing humanitarian activities, and amidst the fog of a world's foreign policy, the operations of the military on Panama and the Persian Gulf, and the dissolve of a Soviet Union, when NAFTA implements the trade block between the borders of Mexico, Canada, and the U.S. Having delved into the 1989 historic fall of the Berlin Wall and back into deregulation and the battle started in the war on drugs. One term in head office leading to a vast pool of change in a small time span from the past historic reigns held by Ford, Reagan, Bush, Clinton, and Carter. The country's changing path has had a different course always to charter. From the main chair of the Oval Office to a key patriarch of modern day politics and civil service. Generation after generation, our ground shakes at the sound of such a name's governing dynasty. Passing the torch each time as each container never holds any corrosion of hate or envy, but love everlastingly. It all has to start somewhere, as it did here with an iconic duo of a father and his son. And from there, we go everywhere. This continues to ripple outward across our American history, ever evolving ever-changing, ever-learning, ever-restoring. Poetry, peace, conclusion. Dad, growing up, what type of father was Gampy? Well, he set the boundaries, uh, but he was never one that tried to impose his will on us. Because of the way he raised all of us, we admired him greatly. So when you were raising your kids, what type of things did you want for them? I wanted all the best. Mm -hmm. I wanted them to feel there was no horizons. They could reach for the stars, accomplish stuff. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, they have. <laughs> My grandfather considers serving his country his greatest privilege. His family, the ultimate gift. And now my dad offers a loving tribute to his father. A kind of question people ask all the time is, who's the most influential president? Or what, you know, and like, well, there's no contest. George H.W. Bush. Would you say the same thing about him? Unconditionally.